It's time to understand what is given in this CBSC IPMT 2011 question. A body is moving with a velocity 30 meter per second towards east. Let's try to illustrate that. What's the meaning of that? Let's try to draw a diagram and try to figure out, right? So, on a paper, if you take a two-dimensional motion, this is origin, positive x-axis, negative x-axis, positive y-axis, negative y-axis. On the paper, you can show, you can consider positive x-axis as east, negative x-axis as west, positive y-axis as north, negative y-axis as south. It's a standard representation even in the map also, right? So, what is given for this problem is, it is moving 30 meter per second towards east. So, how do I represent that? This way. That is, that way that we shall represent. Um, V1, you can say, 30 meter per second. I have shown it towards the east on the paper, that is along positive x-axis. So, if I have to show it like a vector, I have to show it as positive i along x-axis i cap. What is given next is after 10 seconds, it has taken a time of 10 seconds, velocity becomes 40 meter per second towards north. Where is that? I have to show that it is this way towards the north. This is v2. 40 meter per second. It is positive y-axis, so it can be represented like j cap. For this, it has taken a time of 10 seconds. Then what is our acceleration is? That's the question that's being asked, right? So you can say acceleration is rate of change of velocity dv by dt. That is v2 minus v1 by t2 minus t1. v2 is 40j minus v1 is 30i. T2 minus T1 is 10 seconds. That's the value of acceleration. But he don't want the answer in that format, in a vector format. Rather, he wants it in a, a magnitude, right? So, how can I find a magnitude of that vector? Root of x component square plus y component square plus z component square. That is not there by 10. That is root of 40 square is 1600. 30 square is 900 by 10. That is square root of 2500 by 10. 25, how to the square root is 5, for 2 zeros, 1 by 10. So the acceleration is 5 meter per second square. That answer is anyway there. We got an answer. But I just want you to <laughs> hmm, oh, say, Extend the discussion a little further and find what's the direction of that acceleration, right? So once you got the, uh, say, the magnitude of that uh, acceleration as acceleration can be written as 40 by 10 j cap minus 30 by 10 i cap, and that is minus 3 i cap plus 4j cap. So that's value. Where is the value of an acceleration in terms of a vector is? I have just simplified this. 40 by 10 and 30 by 10, right? So where is that if I have to represent it like a vector, if I draw a diagram? Let me draw a diagram and show it. I told you the same, right? This is the x-axis plus i, y-axis plus minus i, west, uh, east, west, positive y-axis north, negative y-axis uh, south. So where is this? Minus 3i. Where can I represent this minus 3i? Here is the minus 3i. And plus 4j. This is plus 4j. So what is the direction of this vector? I can say. This is an acceleration with an angle theta with a positive or a negative x axis. So I can write tan theta as y component by x component, that is 4 by 3. 
theta equal to tan inverse of 4 by 3. Uh, you measure things say from this direction, then it will be uh, anti clockwise, sorry, clockwise direction from the negative x axis, right? So it is clockwise from negative x axis. There are maybe many ways to say that. Of course, it's not asked in this problem. I just want to elongate and extend to let you know that how do you find the direction of the given vector because it's a concept of vectors. So, at a principle level, this is very simple. Acceleration is rate of change of velocity. Just find, substitute the values by taking in vector format so that you will have a better clarity. That's a, my intention of creating a kind of a clarity that how do you find the direction of that vector. That's it. Thank you for watching.